Today I'm testing dark chocolate versus milk chocolate to see what they do to my blood sugar. Today I'm going to start with a 70% dark chocolate and tomorrow I'm going to do the milk chocolate to see if there's any difference at all in my blood sugar levels. This serving has 340 calories, 24 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, and 28 grams of carbohydrates. I think it's important to note here that the dark chocolate is not only lower in sugar than the milk chocolate, but it's also higher in fiber. So I'm really curious to see what kind of an effect this is going to have on my blood sugar. All right, it's been a little over two hours since I've had the chocolate. Let's have a look at the glucose monitor to see what actually happened. And yeah, you can see there's a slight elevation in my blood sugar by 12 milligrams, which is pretty good. So dark chocolate seems to be okay for my blood sugar. And here's part of the reason why. Dark chocolate is lower in sugar than milk chocolate. And like I said earlier, it's higher in fiber. So even though this serving had 28 grams of carbohydrates, the net carbs, when you subtract the fiber content, were only 20 grams of sugar. And that's not too bad. Remember, if you're going to eat chocolate, you should always choose the darker chocolates of over 70% or higher. Tomorrow, I'll be comparing the milk chocolate test with today's test. Remember that individual results will vary, especially if you're diabetic. Stay tuned.